obviously now. No. So Chris, obviously we'll sort of start off with the game. Uh, what did you make of the game itself today? Game, I thought we were uh, very competitive first half. Had we taken our chance, that we had a very good chance with Finchie, had we put that away, 1-0 up, they had to chase the game, they needed to draw to win the game, so I think that would have helped us. Uh, helped us more, we had something to hang on to. Um, but I was pleased with them. Um, first half performance was very good, they did exactly what we wanted them to do. A few areas we tried to put right at half time, which we corrected at half time, and I thought we did well in the second half as well. Um, obviously, it must be disappointing to lose the uh, title at the last game of the season. Yeah, very. Uh, they're, they're the best side in the league by far. I think we match them for a close second. Um, I think the girls are handicapped in this league because we don't get enough hard games. I think a lot, as you look at the league table, we both teams are well into the 20s and points, the next teams are about 12. So they don't get enough. Uh, much practice at a decent level and I think when it comes to a bit of competition um, and when they go behind they don't get enough haven't got enough experience, match experience to actually know what to do in those situations and I think we're winning games comfortably and that doesn't do us any favours really. Does it make it worse that it's your arch rival Southampton? Of course it does. Yes, yes. Um, I've been in this job now six years and I think I've only managed two draws against them so it'll be nice to... We're, we're getting closer and closer which is the good thing. We knew that usually it will be a tough game against the uni, which it always is. Uh, we've had two really bad games against them earlier this year when we lost 3-1 and 6-1 and we really wanted to take them on the last game of the season, but it didn't happen and we really disappointed the team. Um, you got put in goal and, and unexpectedly, I suppose. Um, what was your emotions before the game? I was a little bit confused because there was a lot of uh, back and forth and I couldn't prepare myself properly for the game and um, one whistle went I tried to do my best to get my head in the game and it was still really difficult because I was still really nervous but at the end of the day I thought I did a pretty good job so that I didn't prepare at all. And you lost your goalkeeper to begin with before the game started and then you put Charlotte Mayland in there. Um, oh, what, what did you make of her play today? Fantastic. Yeah, I've got no, no, no problems there at all. They're, they're two different types of keeper. Um, one is stronger in one area and another stronger in other, in other areas. And I had no problems with Charlotte coming in at all. No, fantastic. Looking forward to next year. Um, what, what, what are your plans? Do you, how do you feel it's going to go next year? Any ideas so far? Uh, it's always a bit uh, shot in the dark, really, depending on the intake. Um, I think we've got the nucleus of a squad from the squad we had this year. We had uh, 20 players on a regular basis. We had to whittle down to 16. Um, generally, the squads get stronger and stronger year by year. We seem to get more players coming to a better quality. So, if the record, if the form books go as they do, uh, we should be better and stronger again next year, which is fantastic.